Right, we're on. Today I'm here at Cadrona Golf Club with Fraser Mann, Scotland's number one short game coach. Fraser, how are we doing? Very good, very good. Right, good. Show, me, show me what you would do. So from here we've got what? 10 yards, 12 yards to the front of the green? Yep. And then how many yards to the pin? We've got about 25 to okay. the pin. So about a 40 yard shot. I've got my 52 degree wedge because I want to carry it, or I think I want to carry it, onto the front edge of the green and let it roll out. I don't know if you agree with that or not, but certainly. Yeah, well, let's, let's see. Let's see how you go. Checked up a bit. Yeah. Okay, that's the sort of shot I see. I mean, I could fly it, but then when I fly it and land it, I don't know how it's going to land, if it's going to kick straight, kick left, kick yeah. right. No idea. Yeah. So yeah. I would always so play that was a lucky safe. one. That was a lucky that one. Was, that was a lucky one because you did it without, without thinking. That was very and, lucky. And, and that was that was your option. Wow. So, but if that goes wrong, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so what I see what I see you doing there, mm -hmm. you're 52. Yep. You hit it much lower than a 52 shot. Right. Okay. You hit that probably at about a launch angle of 40 degrees. Right. Okay. But you hit down on it and you squeezed it and you got the ball checking and spinning. Uh -huh. Now that. That is a good shot, but it's more like a shot you would play with an eight iron. Right, okay. And then you would have got the run out on it. So you got okay. you got a nice low height, but you actually hit down on it. Yeah. So what what I would kind of say, just just the same shot, but you need to hit it a little bit harder because the length of this shot you're spinning it. Okay. Can you demonstrate what yeah. you would do? Yeah, sure. And so, what club you'd use? I'll so just... so I'm different from you, Steve. What what I do, Steve, is I kind of play all my shots with a 58 degree wedge. All shots with 58? Yeah, yeah. And the reason I do that is that I, I was brought up to practice an hour a day, an hour a day with my wedges. So rather than practice with a, a 58, a 54 and a 50, which is 20 minutes with each club, I just did 60 minutes with the one club. So I could hit low shots, medium shots and high shots all with the same the same club. So there's less practice time required there. So there's less input for greater output, I guess. Well, yes. And what 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 I would o o often do is when I'm when I'm playing the shot. So so my shot, I see the shot here, and it's a bit through trial and error. So right away, I've got 10 yards to carry, and then 25, 30 up to the pin. So I've got a a, a 40 yard shot yep. that that I right away think about number. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and land this at about. 30 to 32 okay and i play it off my back foot so i'm de-lofting and and when i say my back foot it's my right foot is the back foot if i'm playing right right handed okay so i keep my hands in front of the ball and then i just chip it towards towards the target so you uh, yeah very good and unfortunately the camera was the camera was that was good. <laughs> well anyway we didn't stage that it's so it's, you yeah it's very so you carried that a lot further than i would yeah. So I'm looking at like bringing my landing area closer, but I guess for me to do that, I've got the wrong club in my hand. Yeah, but, but, but you see, so, so to what you're kind of saying to me mm -hmm. is you are playing it with a 52, yep. sorry, is a 54, 52, yep, 52, 52. In, a, in a certain way, yep. but if you have it... Of course, with, you've played 58. With, with all the clubs. So what I can do there, I can carry it further and stop it, yep. stop it faster. Okay. So there's, there's less margin for error where right. you're 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 working on the run out of the of the actual shot okay let's do another one okay so so that would that would be my that would be my stock shot my low uh, 58 off my back foot so so again what i would do the other shot i can do is play it more towards the center of my stance so i'm going to land this one so i'm thinking now it's about a 45 yard shot I'm going to land at 40, so it's okay. only going to run five five yards. So I'm using, so I'm going to hit it a little bit harder. I'm going to give a little bit more more loft, and the ball's going to stop a little bit quicker. So that one didn't quite make it make it up to the hole. Good though. So your your changes there to carry the ball further and to get it stopped quicker. You move the ball further forward. Yeah. Shaft lean. Is there any? Not any? so much shaft lean, but it, but I I love chipping off my right foot. Okay. I love chipping off my right foot because I feel I'm hitting it from the inside and it's almost like a hook my ah. wedges up to the up to the hole because I'm chipping with my right hand. I'm chipping with my, my right hand through 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 the shot. And that's basically one, one of the things I work on with my pupils is getting the ball back in the stands and then chipping with my with my right hand 
and that's what I feel gives you the feel when you're chipping. Your right hand is the nearest hand to the club head, nearest hand to the ball, and that's how I feel I, I, I chip. That's brilliant. So say that again, the right hand is the closest to the club head. The right, my right hand is closest to the club head, and that is my control hand when I'm, when I'm chipping. I would, I would say I never chip with my left hand. I never, because then I have to grip it very, very tightly. So I'm soft and I'm, I'm chipping and running it with my, with my right hand. Brilliant. And just quickly going back to your ball position. So your ball position is back and you feel like you're hitting a little draw. Would that be yeah. fair to say? Yeah, yeah. I've got the ball back in my stance and I feel I'm swinging out to the right and then just releasing it through to the target. Oh. Go in. Oh. oh, nearly, nearly, <laughs> nearly hold it. There and, you go. And, and, and that's, that's the shape. And, and I, I would say nowadays, there's lots of different ways of chipping, but what you'll notice there as well, no divot, mm. no divot. So we've hit, that was your shot, shot. no, I'm only joking. <laughs> but, but there's no divot because when you play the ball back in your stance, you turn your shoulders and I feel I'm playing it with my shoulders and with my right hand, I'm, I'm hitting it. Yeah. It's, it's almost like a bowl. Can I have um, a go? Yeah, sure. So you could, it's just the same with that, with that club, Steve. But so I've, yeah, so I've still got 52. Yeah. There's my divot, I don't fall into that. Yeah. <laughs> Ball's back. Yeah. I feel as though I'm much more of this. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So, you, so, so it's almost, I get guys chipping with, just with the right hand. Yeah. Love because that. that's the control hand. Where does my weight favour? Left side. Left side, so lead side. Yeah. And but let your weight shift as well. Don't All right, just, okay. Do you let it shift yeah, back? Yeah. Back this and is, This is a feel shot. Ah, right, yeah. okay. So you feel shot. My weight's moving with the club back yeah. and through. Yeah. Little draw ball. Yeah. And you see how it's drawing back towards the That was the good, target. yeah. If I'd started and it on the correct line, that might yeah. have helped, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you see your length is good on that one. Yeah. And there. Okay, I feel that. Yeah, lovely. Okay, good. So, some guys talk about using the toe of the club. Are you a fan of that? No, that? Uh, yeah, you, that, that's a certain kind of shot. Uh -huh. You can use that, but I like to, I like to feel that I'm opening and closing and hitting it right in the centre of the club face all the time. Right. That's, yeah. that's, you know. Guess that's the club's designed to be hit there really, isn't it? Yeah. So I played yeah. that one there a little bit shorter, I got a lot more. Yeah, see I like, I, like, I like that action because the contact's great and you know it's going to run out. It's brilliant. It's feel, you're chipping with feel, ball back in the stands, weight on the left side, releasing it with your right hand. It's like, it's like what I'm saying, you're bowling the ball. Yeah, absolutely. You're bowling the ball. Absolutely, but I like the feeling of I mean, I've always been so left-sided, no turn back, but a lot of turn through. But I feel as though you're telling me there that I go with the club head. Yeah. So the club head's going back. There's there's a little bit of movement back, weight-wise, and then there's more a little, little bit more purchase to give in the way through. Yeah. Yeah. It's Brilliant. feel. It's feel, and you're you're rolling it up to the to, to the, the ball. Hole. Awesome. And Thanks. again, you just you just need to practice it for five years, and you'll get it. <laughs> How many balls is that in five years? Oh. It's ball back. Look. The whole one before we finish. Yeah. Even your miss hits are so good. That, that, yeah. You're shallow into the ball. So I miss hit that to six feet. Yeah. I would take that. It's 40 yards away. I miss hit to six feet. I maybe got into that one a little bit, yeah, but, but I'll get this. Still, You're right. But look, but look. Yep. In five years' so there time, you go, I'll be Steve. fine. <laughs> Cheers, Fraser. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers.